right, welcome to your cheapest accessory. I am Beth Jones, and today we're going to do this look actually that is inspired by a look that I saw in Lucky Magazine um, from this month's issue. It's basically a braided, swept up uh, holiday do, or great for kind of any time of year, but we do have the holidays coming up, so why not think about that? So basically, um, we're going to break it down and I'm going to teach you how to do it, so let's get started. Okay, to do this look, basically what you want to do first is make sure you have all the right tools. I suggest having two um, hair ties, a bunch of bobby pins on hand ready to go. I always like to have my scoochie smooth and shine brush, always a comb, and then I like to have a few good hairsprays on hand. I have the Bumble and Bumble uh, hairspray, as well as the Ojan Volume Advance, which I've talked about before. I absolutely adore because it's a styling spray, so it, it's great for styling your hair. So basically what you want to do for this look, you could do a split middle. I'm going to do a split to the side. I think it kind of has just a little bit softer feminine look to it. So basically what you want to do is get that um, part the way that you want it, and then also in the back, you kind of want it brushed back. You don't want it in the part that you have here going on because the hair is going to wrap around and then we're going to tuck the pieces behind. So you want it to kind of have that smooth um, look there in the back. So just kind of comb that back. We're mainly going to be working with this part section here as well as this section here. Okay, so what you're going to do is just start to create that braid. And so start with the width of um, hair that you want and also as close to the part as you want. I'm going to have the braid up closer to the part so that you really kind of get the look up here in the front. And you're going to go ahead and put it into the three pieces that you want it and go ahead and just do that first braid. Now what you're going to do, you did that and you've got this section here that you're ready to wrap in. You're going to grab that as well as a little bit of section of hair and you're going to do the same over here. So grab a little bit there and then wrap it into the braid. Now also what you want to think about is keeping the braid close to your head. So while you're braiding, you want to be going in this direction here so that you're not, um, it's not going to be coming off of your head. So keep it as close as you can. So I'm, I'm getting this section here and I'm going to grab a little bit of hair. I'm also going to do it back here. And I'm going to bring a little bit of the hair, make sure you're not pulling in extra hair. And like I said, keeping it close and going in the direction that I want it to go in. And we're going to be doing the braid right here and leaving this hair down here. So we're going to be kind of working with the hair here. So grab a little bit of hair with this section that you're ready to work with and do the same over here. Make sure that you're not clinging onto other hair and then loop it into the braid. Keep doing that. Now it gets a little tricky here. You want to keep going in this direction, keep it close to the head. So just as much as you can kind of be braiding in the direction you want the braid to go in. Okay, so you've noticed I've left a little bit of hair here and that is gonna be the part that's tucked in. So really what you can start to do now is not be pulling in extra pieces of hair. You got that nice effect here and you can really just start to do a very regular braid which makes your job a lot easier. As much as you can, kind of hold it in the direction you want the braid to go in so that it's going to be flowing nicely with the rest of the look. So kind of keep braiding all the way to the very end, keeping your hand back as far as you can, really creating the braid and going in the direction that you want it to go in. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Okay, so I've pretty much gone to the end. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and tie that off with a hair tie. Wrap that up, just kind of get that set and done so it doesn't get loose while you're doing the other side. Let that hang there for a second. And you want to kind of test out to kind of see if it's going to have that look that you want. And it looks like this one is going to. So then what you want to do is go over to the other side and you kind of want to match the width with what you did over here. So I'm going to kind of take about the same amount of hair. Consider leaving a little bit of hair, hair by the ear. So... You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna get your three sections for your braid. You're gonna grab that and bring that into the braid. Grab that here at the front and bring it into the braid. Keep keeping the braid going in the direction that you want. I think it's about the right amount of hair left here by the ear. So you're really gonna only be grabbing hair from the back sections now. 
And so actually over here, I think we're pretty much good. That's the nice thing with the side. If you do a side part is that um, you don't have as much hair to work with over here. So it makes your job a little bit easier. So just finish off that braid and keep it going all the way to the very end. Make sure that it's in the direction that you want it to be in. Okay, so you got to the very end. I'm going to go ahead and tie this one off as well. It's just my, I guess, easy cheater version of doing this because I don't like my hair to get loose while I'm fixing it. So I've got both of the braids. They're tied off. Now what you want to do is we're going to basically wrap it around your head like this and pin these together. So just make sure you have your hair kind of out of the way and you're basically going to take it around to the back and then crisscross it however long your hair is and make sure that looks the way you want it to and it looks like it does for me. I'll show you what it looks like in the back. So I've wrapped the hair around and then I'm gonna kinda of crisscross it. And what I'm gonna do is take these hair ties out and then tuck these pieces up into the braid so that you can't see them like that and I'm gonna start pinning. So that's what I'm going to be doing and that you can see me do. What I suggest doing is kinda of holding those braids in place how you want them and then basically pinning here at the center, leaving the hair ties in that way you have at least the braid somewhat secured before you pull out the hair ties. So I'm basically just working the bobby pins into the braid by sticking them in and then kind of down into the side to kind of secure them together. So as you can see, it's kind of holding that in place already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, hair tie out, and then I'm going to tuck it up into the other braid and I'm going to start securing those with bobby pins. So I'm going to go in, straight in, and then kind of push it either this direction or that direction, whatever you feel like. You can kind of do two at a time, crisscross them, whatever you feel like secures the braid the best way. Okay, so that side feels really good and tight to me. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to tuck it down into the other braid as much as I can. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pin into the braid, securing it as best I can. Okay, the next part can get a little bit tricky, but what I suggest doing is actually splitting the remaining hair into two ponytail or pigtail type uh, sections here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the section, you're going to bring it up and kind of crisscross it over to the other side and then tuck it down into the braid. That crisscross is going to give you a really nice sweep there and you're just going to pin it off, pin those sections off as much as you can down into the braid. So just go along the edge of the hair, pinning, pinning, pinning as much as you need to to kind of secure it down into the braid. So keep going along the line here of the hair. Okay, so I'm going to take this section and do the same thing, but just kind of um, make it a little bit easier on yourself. You could twist the very ends of the hair and then tuck it down into the braid like you need it. And as you can see, even just tucking it in, it's kind of holding securely. But of course, pull out those bobby pins and pin those down in there. So just along the line of the hair, just keep going. Just pin away all the way down the line of the hair securing it as much as you can. Basically, you're almost done. Just what I would suggest is kind of then cleaning everything up. I always like to pull out some loose hairs here at the front of the face just to kind of soften every look I do. So just I just kind of run my fingers along the forehead right there at the hairline and just kind of grabbing out a few hairs. You really want this look to be soft and romantic and fun for, you know, holiday party or something that you have going on. You always want to finish off with a little bit of hairspray. I'm going to use the Ojan to just kind of spray it on and then use it to kind of like fluff up these extra flyaways that I've brought down. Really give it a nice good spray. Never hurts to use two different types of hairspray. I'm going to use the Bumble and Bumble hairspray and just kind of coat the whole look with that. So let me show you from behind. So there you go. You've got this really great kind of swept up braided do that's perfect for this holiday season or really any time of year. Um, it's not too difficult, maybe a little tricky with the braids, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be totally fine. So of course, with your cheapest accessory, always give it a try at home and join us next time for your cheapest accessory.